Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In a few hours, my dear brothers and sisters, we will be welcoming the great feast of the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In this Christmas rush, may we have this moment in the celebration of the Mass moments of quiet and peace so that we could welcome truly our Lord in our hearts and in our souls. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Come quickly, we pray, Lord Jesus, and do not delay, that those who trust in your compassion may find solace and relief in your coming, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from, re- from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. A radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, sun of justice, come and shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Amen. 
Zechariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hand of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, I know at this point we have our own prayers for ourselves, requests and petitions from God. But let me have also a prayer for all of you. Okay lang po ba yun? Na mayroon po akong hihilingin sa Diyos para sa inyo. And I pray to God that you will not only be given the graces and blessings that you need, but I pray to God that you also will be able to recognize the blessing and understand the blessing. I think it will be useless if God gives us the blessing, but we do not recognize nor understand the blessing God has given us. Parang hindi yata maganda na ibinigay sa atin ng biyaya, pero hindi natin nakilala at hindi natin mauunawaan ang biyaya. In our first reading today from the book of Samuel, we heard the story of King David. He was given a kingdom. He was given power as a king. That is why for David, one of the greatest blessings that he received was his being a king, his kingship in Israel. But Nathan the prophet reminded him. The Lord reminded him through the prophet Nathan that, wait a minute, that is not the blessing that God has given you. The kingship, your palace, your soldiers, those are not the only blessings God gave you. Do you not recognize that all throughout your life, God has become a father to you? That is a greater blessing than your power and your palace as a king. That is why it is very important for us to recognize the blessing. Kaya po yan ang panalangin ko para sa inyo. 
hindi lamang matanggap ninyo ang biyaya galing sa Diyos, kundi makilala, makita ninyo ang iba pang mga biyayang ibibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Yes, it is important to receive God's blessing, but I think it is more important to recognize the blessing. And second, my prayer for you is that you will not only recognize the blessing, but you should also understand the blessing. Madalas po mga kapatid, ang mga pagtingin natin sa biyaya ay tinatanggap. Pero pinapa itinuturo sa atin ngayong hapon na ito na ang biyaya bukod sa tinatanggap at kinikilala, kailangang unawain din. Understand the blessing that is given to you. In our gospel reading today, we hear of Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist. He was given the great gift of a son, a child. Matanda na sila ni Elizabeth na kanyang asawa, pero kahit sila'y matanda na, binigyan ng biyaya ng isang anak. But Zechariah did not only recognize the son that was given to them, but in our gospel reading today, he understood why God has given him a son. And Zechariah proclaimed, I understand now why I was given this blessing so that my child shall become the bearer of God's light so that he could prepare the way of the Savior. Every blessing has a purpose. Every blessing is given to us for a reason. And we need to understand the blessing. Or else, the blessing will just go away. And the blessing will not be understood and fulfilled by us. My dear brothers and sisters, as we pray for the great feast of Christmas, my prayer for all of you is that you will not just receive the blessing from God, but you might also recognize the blessing, understand the blessing. Nawa, makilala natin ang biyayang ibibigay ng Diyos, unawain din ano ang biyaya, para saan ang biyaya. Nang sa gayon, ang Pasko ay tunay ngang maging biyaya ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Amen. Please stand. Zechariah thanked God for being faithful to his promise. Confident of God's graciousness, we now present to him our needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, come and bless us. Lord, come and bless us. That we may learn to forgive one another despite our woundedness and brokenness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come and bless us. That we may learn to love even when we are betrayed or taken for granted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come and bless us. That we may continue to do good even when we are maligned and misunderstood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come and bless us. That we may continue to speak the truth despite the ridicule and rejection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come and bless us. That our departed loved ones 
may enter into the promise of the eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come and bless us. Merciful and loving Lord, help us to be strong and patient in our difficulties. May we never lose hope in your promise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously make your own, O Lord, the offerings which we bring that partaking of them we be cleansed of our sins and merit to stand ready with pure hearts for the coming in glory of your son who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him the virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling john the baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came it is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord, lord god, god of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say our father who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom, kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is, it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my and soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant to us who find new vigor, O Lord, in these your wondrous gifts, that as we prepare to celebrate in adoration the festivities of your Son's Nativity, so we may possess in gladness his everlasting rewards, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Our celebration of the Christmas Eve Mass this evening will be at 8 p.m. and it will be presided by our beloved Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula. Everyone is welcome to attend the Mass here at the Manila Cathedral and for those who are homebound and cannot join the Mass physically here, our celebration of the Christmas Eve Mass at 8 p.m. tonight will be broadcasted online on our Facebook page and YouTube channel and also through TV Maria. We wish you to have a peaceful and joyful Christmas and may our Lord Jesus come into our lives. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, oh, oh.